Hello guys, my name is Deep Turing Lepcher. On behalf of the entire iMetata family, I would like to welcome you to the short video tutorials. In this video, we're going to learn how to download and install GNS3VM, that means Virtual Machine, and VMware Workstation. Along with that, we are also going to integrate GNS3VM within VMware Workstation and work within the total virtualization environment. Let's begin. Here you can see we are going to use Google Chrome. Either you can use any Internet Explorer or any of the web browsers. I'm going to double click on Google Chrome. It opens up the web page and over there on the URL bar, just type in gns3.com. It opens up the site. Okay, it opens up like this. This is the gns3.com website. All right. There you can see the free download, all right? Just click on it. It opens up the sign up page. Go to login. If you have already created the credentials, I'm going to type in my credentials, my email ID, and my password. And go to login. Signing up. Successfully logged in. There you can see the GNS3 exe files down there you can see the download gns3 vm that's a virtual machine and we're going to download just to click on it there you can see the virtual box the vmware workstation and the vmware esxi i'm going to download vmware workstation that means we are going to work within vmware workstation environment just click on it download okay download has been started there you can see down bottom left click on show all on the right side there you can see the file size is 323 MB and it will take around 26 minutes okay just bear with me it's going to download okay download has been completed there you can see my file GNS3 VM open up new tab they can go for vmware.com it opens up vmware site for vmware workstation i'm going to click on downloads there there are many products you can see over there we're going to go for workstation pro just click on it over there you can see the workstation pro just close this pop-up there you can see the workstation pro just scroll down a little bit workstation 14 pro for windows click on download if you have linux version then you can go for linux as well i'm going to download for windows flavor so there you can see the download click on show all the file size is 487 mb and it will take around 42 seconds and the download has been completed just like that so let's see then Let's go for the VMware Workstation. Just click on it. Yes. It's going to install VMware packages in your Windows system. It will take a little bit time to install it packages. There you can see, click on next. This is the license agreement. Click on next. Click on next again. It doesn't matter. And there you can see the check for update product. So I'm going to uncheck for now. Click on next. Desktop and start menu. Okay. Click on next. And just click on install to install the packages of VMware Workstation Professional. There it has been installed. Now click on finish. If you have got your license key, just uh, you can just provide your license key for your VMware Workstation. Uh, or otherwise, you can use it for 30 days trial. I'm going to install GNS3 VM. Just click, double click on the VM that you have downloaded. And bear with me. 
take some time and there it automatically automatically shows you the import virtual machine box so just click on import so that means you are actually importing your GNS3 VM within your VMware workstation why are we actually doing this we are actually doing this so that we actually work within the virtualization environment and our routers and switches we are actually going to integrate those routers and switches within this VM so this is the previous one uh, I'm going to uh, remove the previous one and this one is the new one version 2 so start up click on ok there you can see this is the actual VMware virtualization technology error so for this you have to go to bio settings and enable virtualization technology from the bio settings to go to uh, bio settings you actually have to restart your machine and how do we do that let's begin I have got a beautiful laptop and a beautiful desktop wallpaper in front of me so I'm going to restart the machine so restart it and then while the system boots up I'm going to hit F10 to open the BIOS configuration uh, in every laptop it has its own combination key maybe F2 maybe F8 maybe F12 so I'm going to hold F10 to open up BIOS configuration so it opens up you can see that there is menu tab security tab and system configuration I'm going to go to system configuration over there you can see virtualization technology it's disabled hit enter and select enable after selecting it and then go to exit and save the configuration voila it's done now your VMware will work just fine thanks for watching